Well, I think the environment's crucial because one of the attractions for people that work and live here is the place in which we live. Um, so where we're at the same time trying to raise business and increase business for the island's uh, income and uh, economy, at the same time we absolutely must preserve this unique environment. What we're trying to do with our environmental conference is also show that in producing our regeneration we're going to protect that very environment we operate in because it is so important, not just to us, but for future generations as well. The council is investing £60 million pounds of capital funding into this project. We are building a mechanical treatment plant and we're building an energy from waste plant. Those two plants will help us achieve our targets of having 92% landfill diversion and a 60% recycling and composting rate, making us one of the leading counties in the country. Wherever we're in uh, planning schemes, we always look to involve local environmental consultants and from there we can look at any opportunities for enhancement to the biodiversity. So it could be some real small gains through to some specific implementations such as the elevator which we've recently installed at a bridge in Holbrooks in Boldner. Um, but there's also lots of other initiatives that we can carry out all over the island such as bee holes and lizard tubes. Last year we had some money assigned to actually buy some electric vehicles, which is exciting. We've had three double charging points put in at County Hall, um, so we plan is to introduce electric vehicles in the next sort of few years, and hopefully it's ramp it up so most of the fleet's electric. The Isle of Wight's high quality landscapes, the area of outstanding natural beauty specifically, is fantastic for business in a number of different ways. One, you've got the agricultural side of things, two you've got tourism and then you've got a variety of other rural businesses that take place in and around the landscape. We have a number of different things that we're looking at in terms of regeneration and I think what is really key is sustainability, green infrastructure and the way we enhance the environment right at the heart of our fairly ambitious development plans. I think a lot of the time people think of regeneration as bricks, mortar, concrete and doing away with the natural environment but really we're about enhancing that, making the best use of it and building alongside it to grow our local economy. Music